welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. You're inside the stitchery and I have never been happier than I am wearing this sweater for this video. This is the sweater. Because we're making puppies! <laughs> we are making two very famous puppies for Christmas. These are my puppy tots. So I have a kitty tot. Um, I will link that down below if you'd like to make a kitty tot. But now we're making puppies. I'm so excited. If you saw, we made Charlie Brown Christmas tots earlier. And lots of you were wondering, where's Snoopy? He's right here. Here is Snoopy. Isn't he cute? Yes. And we also made the Grinch. But where's Max? Right here, complete with his cute little tongue. <laughs> so today we are making the puppies of Christmas, Snoopy and Max. Grab your hooks, grab your yarn, and let's make adorable little roof roofs. <laughs> Why did I just say that? Let's make little puppies together. Okay, for Max's ears, you are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. In the second chain from the hook, you're gonna make a single crochet. So one, two. Single crochet in the next. And the last two slip stitch twice. One and two. And that's it. Now make two of them and fasten off with a long tail so you can sew it to his head. To make Max's snout, take your body color, make a magic ring, make five single crochet in the magic ring. Close the ring. In the next stitch, we increase. Then we make three single crochet. One, two, and you can start to pop it with your fingers and three, and increase in the last stitch. Okay, one more round. We just do seven single crochet all the way around. And that's his little snout. Now we're just going to fasten off with enough tail to sew. Take the tail from his magic ring and push it on the inside and that is all the stuffing you'll need is the tail.
there we go. Snoopy snout. Make a magic ring and put six single crochet inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. Increase to 12, so that's two single crochet in every stitch. For the next two rounds, you are just going to go around. So 12 single crochet for two rounds. Okay, now we are going to decrease six times. And before we do the sixth one, you see our tail here? Stuff that on the inside. Use your hook if you need to. And a little bit of extra. I'm sure you've got some scrap yarn lying around from the rest of the tutorial. So just kind of don't use stuffing, just use yarn scraps because you don't need very much at all. And now do our last one. Okay, and fasten off with a tail for sewing. Now we need his actual nose. This is technically his snout. Just get a little piece of black yarn, not very much. And we're going to do a false French knot. If you've never done that before, cross like this, wrap one side around four times, cross and wrap the other side. This one is harder unless you're left handed. <laughs> and pull slowly till you get a knot shape. I didn't do this one very well, but it's fine. I'm just gonna make it work at this point. There, if you want it bigger, you need to wrap it more times. So we're just gonna take this and where we fastened off is directly across from the top of the nose. So here's our magic ring. And right above our magic ring is where we're going to attach the nose. Get your needle.
tie a knot. Make sure you do not catch the white yarn while you're doing that. Okay, use my scissors to kind of poke that out. So if it squished anything, just push it back out. Snip this really close, push this in. And there is Snoopy's snout and nose. Now his ears are obviously black, but we are not using black for the tutorial because you couldn't see a thing. Going to use this little piece of orange yarn I've got here, but please use black. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the third chain from the hook, make three double crochet. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Half double crochet in the next one. And single crochet in the next. And then in the very last one, we're going to single crochet, chain one, and single crochet into the same stitch. And then we're going to work on the other side of the ear. Single crochet, half double crochet, And slip stitch to the first half double crochet. Fasten off with a tail for sewing. Make two. For the tail, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We usually work here. We're going to flip it over, see these little bumps. We're going to work into those. Skip the first one into the second, we're gonna slip stitch. Slip stitch into the next bump. Single crochet into the last two bumps. And fasten off with a tail for sewing. Now that you have all your pieces, let's make the body. Okay, Snoopy and Max are the exact same pattern. What we're gonna do is brown for Max, white for Snoopy. Round one, make a magic ring or the chain two. Make six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the next round, we're going to make two single crochet in every stitch. That's called an increase. We want 12 at the end. So we make two in every stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. In the next round, we're gonna make two single crochet to start with. So we're gonna increase in the first stitch. Mark it. One, two. 
In the next stitch, we're gonna make one single crochet and that is our pattern. Two, one, two, one, two, one. And we will have 18 at the very end. Make sure you have 18 stitches all the way around. Remember, you just count the little V's up here. Okay. Round four, one single crochet in the next two. One, two, increase in the third stitch. That is our pattern. One, one, two, one, one, two. That is the pattern for round four. You'll have 24 stitches when you get to the end of round four. For round five, we're gonna work in the back loops only. And we're also gonna work in this bonus loop back here. So we're gonna go in the back loop and this extra loop back here. If you can't do it, that's fine. Just go in the back loop. I like to do it for extra stability. So we have this back loop and this little extra loop back here. That is what I like to go into whenever I'm working in the back loop only because it just gives me a better looking piece, honestly. So for round five, just go in the back loop only or the back loop and the bonus loop all the way around for 24 stitches. I will meet you at the end. Okay, round six through nine just go all the way around, working in continuous rounds through both loops for 24 stitches in every round, rounds six through nine. And I will meet you at the end of round nine. Okay, so you should have just finished round nine. And for round 10, I highly recommend getting another stitch marker and marking round 10. You'll see why later. We're going to single crochet in the next two, and then we're going to decrease in the next stitch. Now don't worry, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna mark it down here. So I'm gonna show you how to decrease. This is the invisible decrease. Under one stitch, under the next, wrap, go through two, wrap, go through two. That is an invisible decrease. The next two stitches, under, under, go through two. Next two stitches, under, under, go through two, go through two. I have a better video on my channel on how to do the invisible decrease. We are trying to get back down to 18 stitches again. Okay. Round 11 we are going to go around for 18 stitches. Okay, so we have 18 stitches around. Pull up our loop. On the other side, so this is our stitch marker, so we wanna go on the other side. We are going to put in our stitch, stitch markers. Safety eyes, man. Okay. Six millimeters. If you are making this for a child, please don't use safety eyes. You can use my false French knot tutorial, which is linked below. Okay. We are going to place them about three to four stitches apart between rounds 10, that's why I had you mark it, and 11. So this little line right here. Mm, no. I'm going to go over a few stitches. Yeah. One, two, three. Yep, good. And don't forget to put on your backs. We are going to put on his nose, well, his snout. 
and we are just going to put it in between the eyes, one row down. Where you fastened off is downward so that we have almost a little point, see? So we're gonna put that like so. So one row down from the eyes, in between the eyes, and of course you can use a pin, and then we're just going to sew that on. You can sew any way you like. There are lots of ways to sew things. Okay, now we need our brown yarn again. I'm sorry, the dark brown. And I am going to create a little, a little ball on the end of his nose. Okay, see I just went around a few times. Nothing fancy. If you're uh, not new to the channel, then you know that I don't really do fancy. <laughs> I like to make my amigurumi very simple. Oh, that's cute. Look, that turned out cute. Okay. So just tie it a couple of times. Whoop, not around the eye. There we go. <laughs> and then you can just tuck the rest of the tails inside. Just use it as part of your stuffing. And uh, next we can do the tail. So hopefully you left the stitch marker for row six because I didn't tell you to remove it told you to use another stitch marker on purpose because this is telling us where our tail goes. So our tail is going to go on like this. So one piece is going to attach here and one piece is going to attach here like that. Not like this, like this. Take the top, that's the longer string, and attach it right underneath row six. Okay, like that. Now take our other tail and attach that. Here is the edge of our ridge. Remember when we started working in those back loops? That's where it goes. And then just tie the two together. If you're giving this to a child, please, you know, secure it a bit more. But you really don't have to if it's just going to sit on a shelf or on a tree. But if it's going to be played with, you can go uh, in and out of the tail a couple times just to make sure it's secure. Max and Snoopy are basically the same thing, but you sew the pieces in different areas. So this is a finished Snoopy. And so from his head, you count down one, two, three, and between three and four, that's where his ears go. Towards the front, 
about two stitches back from his eye on either side. His snout goes down one row from his eye and about one, two, three rows down is where you attach it. His tail goes right above the ridge line. So there's the ridge line and there's his tail. And that's how you sew on everything for Snoopy. Now you can remove that stitch marker. Ta-da! Next round is round 12 and we're gonna start with that indivisible decrease this time. Move my stitch marker here. And one single crochet in the next. Decrease. One. Decrease. One. Continue that pattern all the way around and I will meet you at the end. Now, let's stuff a little bit. I have got all kinds of yarn scraps here. So I've got yarn scraps and a bit of stuffing. He doesn't take very much because he's not very big, so. Just make sure that that bottom is flat. Okay, now before we stuff any more, let's add the ears. So grab our ears. You're gonna lay that against his head like that. About two rows back from the eye, or two stitches back, sorry. So here's his eye. Go up over two. So I would attach one string here. Like so. And I would attach the next one. Go over one stitch and I would attach the next one right there. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you have a uh, small child that's gonna play with this, then I would go back in and do one little stitch right here just to make sure that it's tacked down. But then all you have to do is tie a knot. Okay, a couple of knots. And then stuff it on the inside. And now on the other side, just repeat. Now we're gonna do one more cute little optional thing. You do not have to do this, but I'm gonna do it because I think it's kinda cute. So in a lot of the drawings, Max's tongue is hanging out. <laughs> so we're gonna use a small little piece of pink yarn and give him a little tongue. So we are just going to make a small little magic ring or chain two. Make one half double crochet into the magic ring. Pull the ring tight. Done. Chain one. And now just bend it. See? <laughs> that is our little tongue. <laughs> So we're just gonna put it kind of on the side of his mouth, right here. I'm gonna have it go out the bottom. Like that. And the other side. I'm actually gonna go over like this, see, just for 
this one so that I can grab this bottom stitch here and then go back down and out the same stitch as the other pink thread. That just helps it stay a little more. And then we'll use these two to tie a knot. And just hide our tails on the inside. Now you don't even have to have them come out the other side and fasten off like normal. You can just have them come out the top like this. And then do that again. And because we have not closed the head yet, just have it come right out the top. Now it's just more stuffing. <laughs> Look at his cute little tongue. <laughs> Aww. So that was just an optional step. You don't have to make his cute little tongue, but it's up to you. When you are satisfied with the level of stuffing inside your head, now you can do the last row, which is just to decrease six times. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Fasten off with a decent sized tail. If you want to add any more stuffing, now is your chance. I think mine's good though. Let me just make sure that his bottom is flat. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go in the top loops all the way around six times because there's six loops. And in the very last one, pull tight. Now I'm going to go back down through the middle and out through the bottom. And back and forth a couple times just to make sure it doesn't come out. Make sure that bottom stays flat. You can pull on his ears a little bit. There is Max. Now you have Max and Snoopy. I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial for the puppies of Christmas. And um, I hope you make their owners, Charlie Brown and the Grinch. In another tutorial, Thank you so much for joining me today. Did you make puppy tots with me? Oh, if you did, please, please, please put them in the Facebook group below, tag me on Instagram, or email me a picture. I would love to see your sweet little puppies. And if you made the whole set, all of the Christmas tots so far, the if you made the Charlie Brown Christmas set, or even if you made the How the Grinch Stole Christmas set, I would love to see any of your Christmas tots. Also, don't forget to check out my crochet along I had this month for quick, easy Christmas gifts. I am so excited that lots of you were excited about that cow. So remember, life happens, yarn helps, and Spoonies can stitch it up too. Goodbye. <laughs>